Hey, thanks for joining the show today. We're going to tell you how to tell the difference between a penny, a dime, a nickel, and a quarter. And I do have some other um, money shows, some videos, and I'll have a link down below where you can find those on YouTube. They go in more in depth. But I want to, uh, this show, I just kind of want to show the students um, how to tell the difference um, really quickly on the value of each of these coins and how you can um, tell the value by just touch. So let's get right into it. First of all, what you need for this project is a penny, a dime, a nickel, and a quarter. Um, so if you can get that, and then we'll start the lesson. All right. Right now, have the four coins laid out. And I just want you to kind of lay them out by size. Here you have the biggest coin, that is the quarter. Then you have the nickel, the dime, and the penny. And right away, you can tell that the penny is kind of a brown or copper color. It's different from these other three coins. So let's take the coin of the penny and put this in your hand. And I want you to feel the penny, okay? I want you to feel the penny and I want you to feel the edges. It's smooth. And look on the, the side of the, uh, the top of the coin and you'll see Abraham Lincoln. And on the back is the memorial and this this penny is smooth. There's no edges right here. So I just want you to feel that for a little bit. All right. And the penny is one cent. It takes 100 of these to make a dollar. So that is the penny. Let's go ahead and pick up the nickel now. The nickel, you can feel it. It's a little thicker than the penny. It has a smooth side. Go ahead and place your penny on top of the nickel. You can see it fits right on top of there. And the nickel is uh, wider, has a, has a bigger diameter. And so you can even compare the two right here. So you can see that the nickel is wider right here. So you can feel the nickel. So you can kind of tell the difference between a nickel and a penny. A nickel is worth five cents and it takes 20 nickels to make a dollar. Go ahead and put your nickel down on your paper and take the dime and feel the dime. It's smaller, isn't it? And feel the side. Can you feel the ridges? You can really feel those ridges. Take your fingernail. You can feel those ridges. Take the dime and put the penny underneath it. The dime is almost a little tiny bit smaller than the dime is a little bit smaller than the penny. And now compare it to the nickel. Wow, the nickel is quite a bit bigger than the dime. And you can even do the side here. So the dime has ridges. All right, let's go ahead and pick up the quarter right here. Feel the side, take your fingernail, go like that. You can feel the ridges, can't you? A quarter is worth 25 cents. And in your free time, what I want you to do is try to memorize on how to get to a dollar. There's, you need four quarters to get to a dollar. So what I usually teach my class is to say 25, 50, 75, 100. 25, 50, 75, 100. That's a good way to start to memorize how many quarters it takes to make a dollar. So one quarter is 25 cents, two quarters is 50 cents, three quarters is 75 cents, and four quarters is one dollar. Now we take a look at that quarter there. Like I said, it has the ridges. Now take the quarter and put a nickel on top of it. The nickel is just a little bit smaller, isn't it? Yeah. Now go ahead and put the dime on there. Wow. See, both of these coins, they have ridges, but the dime is smaller. If you pick up the nickel and the penny, they're both smooth, but the penny is smaller. So now that we have a kind of a good idea of the feel of these, what I want you to do is you're going to take these coins right here and you're going to put them in one hand and you're going to kind of mix them up a little bit. And if you want to, you can put your hand underneath your desk like this. And now I want you to see if you can take and feel the nickel. Now remember, you're looking for a smooth, you know, outer side and it's a little bit bigger than the penny. All right, see if you can find the nickel. Can you find the nickel? There it is. Yeah, you guys got it. Awesome. 
All right, now what I want you to do is do the same thing. Put your coins in a hand, put them underneath the desk. Don't look. Now I want you to find the dime. Can you find the dime? It's going to be smaller. It's going to have ridges on it. All right, feel the ridges with your finger. When you're ready, take it out. Did you find the dime? <laughs> yeah, all you guys did. You are becoming money pros. All right, let's do one more, two more. All right, let's go ahead and put the coins underneath your desk again. All right, now we're looking for the quarter. Remember, this is the bigger of the coins and it has ridges. All right, when you're ready, take it out. There it is. All of you guys did it. Super. All right, one more. Put all the coins together again. Put it in your hand. All right, now see if you can find the penny. Now remember, the penny is just a little bit smaller in size than the nickel and it has a smooth side. So take your time, see if you can find it. You can separate the ones that you know is not a penny. So separate all the ones with the ridges into the other hand and then you'll have two coins and choose the smaller one with the smooth side. And there you go, the penny. So penny for your thoughts. We have one other activity that I like to do with my kids and after they get to know the coins and after you feel them and you get to know the value and what coin is, is a nickel, a penny, a dime, and a quarter, what I'll do is I'll put the coins on a piece of paper like this or in their notebook. And one at a time, I will take the quarter like this and I'll put another piece of paper down and I'll take my two fingers and I'll hold it nice and tight. And you can take a crayon or a pencil and then I'll just start shading in like this. All right, you can do that on a paper. And then you can start to see the quarter peek out. And then I'll just have the students kind of write down 25 cents. And I'll do that for the other coins too. Put the coin down on the paper, put your two fingers here, make it nice and tight and you can do a pencil and make sure you go in one direction. All right. And then you can start to see the coin pop out like that. And then you go ahead and write down the value. Five cents. Do it again for the penny. Put Lincoln right there. All right. And you can do different colors. It's kind of fun. And you can do some, you know, neat art activities like this. Oh, that, that Lincoln head is coming out really nice. All right. Go ahead and put one cent. And while we're at it, well, we'd go ahead and do the dime. Move this coin out here. Put your, get a nice colored crayon. Hold these two sides and you have to go in one direction in order to make it work. All right, and you write 10 cents. This is great for trying to memorize the coins, makes it a fun activity. Hey, thanks a lot for joining the show today. Make sure you check out my other videos on here. I have a lot of cool drawing videos and educational videos. These videos are made for kids and for the classroom. So I hope you enjoy them. I hope you enjoy your day today. Make it fun. And like always, keep on learning and have a fun day. Bye-bye.